True to its title, the Ballad of Sir Gatling throws a lot at you all at once, and most of it is pretty cool. It's definitely not slow paced though, more like a shredding solo than a ballad. And solo is the operative word, as the game sees players facing off all by their lonesome against the fearsome giant known as the Forest King and his endless army of marauding maniacs and their never ending quest to crash your castle gates. At your disposal are the titular Gatling gun, complete with a sword strapped to it for bayonet style power thrusting, an impenetrable shield, and plenty of moxie. It's far from a traditional medieval setting, which helps explain why it's nominated in the WTF category in Rogue Jam, but there's a lot of mayhem to be had and a surprising amount of strategic depth for a game of this sort. Armor up, it's time to bring a gun to a night fight. At first, it can be easy to dismiss Sir Gatling as a simple point and shoot trench run. The team at Effort Star have taken a mechanic that's little more than a minor annoyance in most games, the fact that a Gatling gun has to slowly ramp up to its full potential and wraps an entire world around it. That world is populated by hordes of decidedly derpy monsters, like little pugs with short swords, and these tall dinguses who spray orbs at you. But thanks to your trusty bayonet and a unique control scheme, your gun actually does stuff during the periods you'd normally be reloading or waiting for the chain to spin up. In fact, the longer you fire, the bigger the power thrust that results when you finally lay off the trigger. Same goes for the distance of your jump. Jumping in the midst of a high-speed bullet barrage results in an epic leap, while slamming the space bar when your gun's just getting warmed up is only good for a bunny hop. It's simple but layered mechanics like that that create a pretty fun feedback loop as you try to force your way forward down sections of the rampart, ultimately achieving your bizarre goal of repelling the Forest King by ripping off his codpiece and shooting or stabbing him repeatedly in the crotch. It is highly satisfying. And as you continue to play and, inevitably, die, you might just find yourself developing more complex strategies as you slowly but surely learn what works and what doesn't. For example, those tall dinguses? Their pink shirts must be made of mithril because you can't kill them with bullets until you've shredded their tops off with a swing of your blade. On the bright side, those orbs they spew can be shot right back at them with either a swipe or a power thrust and some decent timing. Add in your shield push move and constant bunny hops to avoid incoming damage and you've got what is essentially a reverse tug of war. Both sides want to push the other side back and it's your job to save the kingdom and banish the forest king and his army of weirdos once and for all. The game's bright, almost tropical color palette, hilarious enemy designs, and kick-ass soundtrack all add nicely to the feeling of medieval madness and you're constantly on the razor's edge of victory or defeat. One false move and you've got to start all over, but just a few well-placed ultra thrusts can get you right past the baddies and to your goal. Which, and we can't stress this enough, is a giant crotch gyrating at eye level. The difficulty curve is pretty steep to begin with, and with four increasingly hard modes to play through, the Ballad of Sir Gatling can start to feel a tad repetitive. Which is fine for a game that's so one-track and twitchy, but Effort Star is presumably just getting started, as they've promised several more worlds and a wider array of enemies once the game is fully polished. Assuming those new enemy types each require different tactics to overcome, that could result in a deceptively simple game with addictive staying power. Either way, blasting endless waves of maniacs is always a fun time, and the Ballad of Sir Gatling has that in spades. Think you have what it takes to make it all the way to the forest at the end of the lane? Strap a sword to a gun and get Gatling.